Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here, and word on the street is that T-Rex Miner just added support for Absolute Core Clock, which is, I mean, th that is amazing. And uh, if you don't know what that means, practically what that means is that you'll probably be able to reduce the power consumption of your GPUs by a lot without reducing your hash rate by much, if anything at all. And I figured let's just try it together today in this video here. So let's just uh, get right into it, shall we? And also thank you so much Red Panda Mining for mentioning this in your latest video. That's how I found out that this is a thing now. And I'm sure I don't have to mention it, but if for some reason you're subscribed to me, but not Red Panda Mining, then what are you doing? Go subscribe to him. And yeah, so before we get started, what this actually is, is like it's a different way of overclocking your GPUs. So usually what you do in, for example, MSI Afterburner is you set an offset for what you want your core clock to be, um, as well as your memory clock. But this is specifically for your core clock. But how this works is instead of that, it is setting sort of like if if I understand it correctly, like this is still new to me as well. But the way I understand it is it's setting sort of like a target for your core clock in megahertz for where it should be and then it tries to like always stay on that target but yeah basically it's just a new little bit more sophisticated way of overclocking your core clock basically so i have this 13 by 1660 super rig here that i figured would be perfect to test this new feature with so let's just start by getting a baseline for this rig now power consumption wise so but it's it's uh, about 1250 watts between 1250 and 1260 and it is doing 417.46 mega hash a second so the very first thing i need to do is to update t-rex till the latest version so i'm just going to close my miner now by hitting ctrl c and then i have to go into my batch file here hit edit and at the end i have to type space and then dash dash auto date like that quit and save and then run this all right so we are up and running with the latest version of t-rex now that is version 20.4 which is the version where they introduced the absolute core clock support so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to quit the miner again and then we're gonna edit our batch file so i made a copy of the batch file here and i'm just gonna right click and say edit that and the first thing i'm gonna do is to remove the auto update command here all right, so before we do anything else, since we need to run T-Rex uh, as an administrator, the very first thing I need to do is I need to add the full path to my T-Rex.exe file here at the start of my um, batch file. So I'm just going to do that real quick. All right, there we go. Now we can start getting into the actual absolute core clock uh, overclocking settings here. So I've got the official documentations of T-Rex Miner here where they list sort of how the um, core clock uh, lock speed works as well as the other overclocking features of T-Rex. So basically what you need to do is if you're running uh, an overclocking software like MSI Afterburner, you don't actually need to use that anymore. You can set all of your overclocking straight in T-Rex. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the easy stuff. So I always set my fan in MSI Afterburner, for example. So I'm gonna start by doing that. And to keep this uh, fair with what we had before, I had all of my fans on 80%. So I'm just gonna do dash dash fan and then 80. And that should set uh, the fan speed of all my GPUs to 80%. And then we also have the power limit. So I'm just gonna add that in just like I had it in MSI Afterburner. So I'm gonna have to give it an individual value for each card. So bear with me. 
There we go. So you just do that by typing dash dash PL and then just typing all of the power limit percentages that I want in a long list uh, in the order uh, of like how my GPUs sh show up in T-Rex when I mine. All right, so now we get into the new feature, which is this lock core clock feature. So I'm just gonna type dash dash lock dash C clock, short for core clock, I guess. And since these are all the same sort of like 1660 supers, I'm just gonna try and lock them all like from what I've heard so far, you want it somewhere in between 1000 and 1050. So I'm just gonna put it right in the middle and say 1035. And I'm just gonna put one number, which will apply that same number to all of my 13 GPUs here. And now the final thing that I have to do is I have to also set the memory clock speed. So I do that by typing dash dash M clock. And then this will be added as a offset. So I just need to copy uh, my settings for each GPU from MSI Afterburner. Uh, so bear with me while I do that. All right, so there we go. I got all of my memory clocks added in now as well. So I guess all that's left to do now is close the batch file. And I'm definitely gonna save this. And now, we just gotta run this new batch file as administrator. So let's do it together here. You can see all of the settings I've typed in there. All right, fans are spinning up, so that's a good sign. You can see it's applying all of the settings I just typed in, so that's cool. It's currently generating the DAG files. Okay guys, so this is the real deal. Check this out. I am still getting, well, I've lost one mega hash basically. We're down to 416, but look at this. We are down to 1,090 watts on the wall. That is like almost 200 watts less in total for this, for the same hash rate. I am completely blown away by how well this worked, honestly. Wow, oh my goodness. Guys, that, that was the real deal. I cannot, st uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still blown away by how well that worked. Like saving 200 watts, like, like my whole rig pulls just over a thousand watts now. And that is including the big fan that pulls like 30 watts plus the monitor like that's an old monitor that pulls like 20 or 25 watts or something like I'm almost at a thousand watts pulled by the whole system and I'm getting like 416 mega hash <laughs> that's getting close to like two watts per mega hash that is absolutely crazy I am yeah, I'm over the moon as you can probably tell uh, but yeah guys look if this has been helpful to you like go give this a try and please give the video one of these like i'd really appreciate that and what you gotta do now i guess is just click on one of the videos on the screen because that's the end of this video you can also click the picture of my face to subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate that but yeah go click on that next video and be excited with me Woohoo!